Okay, old radio night here. Let's see. Night Ranger, I uh, got me here a little bit late there at 8.05, but it's 12.22, 2017, and I'm going to get on the side and let them let, let y'all get on there. All right, now you got to tell us what you're running first. Oh, okay. I'm just running a uh, <coughs> Johnson Messenger 250 there, ground plane, and I got a... Uh, well, you know, I don't tell everything there, but anyway, uh, it's not exactly uh, a hundred percent stock, so that's it. It's Yeah, please observe Larry's law while, uh, uh, hey, you know, participating while you're watching. You're going to go next there, 755? you there, crazy man. Yeah, I can, I can go for it. I'm so glad I got my boys back today. Because they know what I'm talking about. They're the ZX running today. Yeah, I'm going to have a CI 2985 ZX radio. This is Ranger Radio with up and lower side band. 40 channels from a TO4. And uh, about 50 or 60 watt ring and push behind it. I got high mics, 2,000 sitting, sitting up there. Supposed to be 60 foot, and I think it only fell over a while on a 45 angle. Right, as long as it ain't building, don't mess with it. That's when they call me 116. Crazy man with the full frog is 2,000. We're back out. 10 4. How about that eliminator? I'd have known that uh, he was going to run that uh, a Robin a, a T123B there. I'd have tried to hook mine up. Maybe I'll do it next week there, Night Ranger. Well, it was kind of a last minute decision. Uh, I looked at looking up the high gain, high range one, since I didn't have a high gain, high range two last time. I do have two of those. And I looked at the high gain, high range two, and I thought, well, I'm going to I got this radio for free. He had it in the closet. 
that weren't working. <laughs> he gave it to me and said, I don't know why I quit working. It just suddenly stopped. But anyway, uh, that's what I got. Fourteen. Yeah, I like those radios. This one's real good. I just got to get the receive down on it. And I got one little capacitor that needs to come out of there. Because when I get a real strong signal like uh, Eliminator, it means it's close to me. It, it hums and the receive. Smaller signals don't do it, but I think that's still that one bad can capacitor. It's uh, definitely on its last leg, so I got to get that out of there. Roger. Are you going to fake it out? Or are you just going to put the real thing? Are you going to cut it open and put some in it and then seal it back up? Well, I bypassed it for the moment. I just uh, put some other, I don't want to say bypass, but I put some new capacitors in parallel to kind of up the microfarad temporarily. But I may look around and see if I can find one that will actually fit it. If not, I guess I'll just have to cut it out. Roger. There's a couple of new places coming out with them that, um, Guitar place that I thought that you didn't know about that I you know we talked about that that, that, that sells guitar parts they got them but uh, CTE I think or C CMH or something like that is making uh, those uh, multi section capacitors now I bought some of them I uh, they have a website you can actually go to Bypass uh, Antique Electronic Supply Company and buy it straight from them. Breaker. Waiting on you. Okay. Hello, hello. Yeah. I guess I'll go next. Go ahead, 529 uh, Catfish Stew Man. That's what we be doing, Catfish Stew and do that. Anyway, I'm talking in the mobile, just sitting out here listening to the radio. No, I enjoy listening to y'all fellas out here, man. Um, but this is called X3300 HP. Uh, little Texas star V-Mod. Oh, uh, 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 talking now. Uh, 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 going to do 100 2 inch steel rip this old bug dirt truck. But anyway, man, it's good to hear y'all out there. I appreciate y'all doing this. Yeah, ten four. Yeah, you coming in good there. They uh, somebody else was out there, but you uh, you you wiping them out there. I don't even think you got anything really turned on there. But uh, good day. Yeah, I tell you what, that uh, that catfish too. What you talking about? That thing sound pretty good. Now you got to cook that for about what three hours. Yeah, I'll cook it a good hour twenty one. I got on um, those smoked pork jars and onions in there now going on and cooking the cooking the heads and all down and, and stewing all them off the bowl good and it'll probably be it'll be a little bit longer now. I'll let that thing simmer on low, you know, all night and then uh, let it cool back down in the morning. That way I can handle it and we'll carry it back at lunchtime and. Fire the old cooker back up and warm it back up. So I'll probably let it slow cook about, I don't know, six hours altogether. Yeah, 10-4. Well, i tell you what, there ain't nothing better that crazy man likes is fish heads and rice. There's some good stuff, man. I got some of those belly meat in there, too, you know, but I like to make mine out of the heads. They eat too much bones around there, you know, a good bit of meat around them old jaws in there, too. So I try to do it the old Texas style way, you know, and I was born and raised to do it. I'm going 23 pounds, stalking, too. Well, that's Star Patrol over there. He don't even know anybody's taping and nobody can hear him. I hear Star Patrol. Yeah, are you take? Are you videotaping him? No. Okay, well, nobody can hear him but you. All right, well, let me stand by. Go ahead, Star Patrol. You don't want me to do something like that right now? Well, I mean, there was somebody, there was three other people talking or trying to when you was in there. I mean, the 529 was talking and, uh, and then crazy man, he came in there. So go ahead and uh, cause that uh, night ranger's got you on uh, video gate too. Go ahead. All right, night ranger, I put a little fire in the Y on this little stalker. This little stalker two from T Bear, Roger. Yeah, yeah, did you see the 23 channel stalker? I ten volt. Yeah, I remember that was I had all that gold trim on it. I have a, a, a T dispatch, which is a much lower model than the stalker two, but I've seen that. 
T-Berry Stalker Sideband 40 channel, it's the same as the Cobra 142, and uh, give it to 44 over there. Yeah, this got the sideband on it, they got the EM AFM sideband. 10-4, yeah, those were uh, like, um, I don't know, supposed to have been a lot of them sold over in England and all, but I don't know for sure. I think that Eliminator's got a T dispatch, don't you there, Eliminator? Yes, sir. Yeah, I got it down there in the uh, hole oh. here. Oh, damn. Yeah, they got all these things look like the old wood green and all that stuff on it. Oh, yeah. The one I always thought looked like it was pimped out was that Courier, um, I forgot what the name, Courier Care, uh, shoot, what was that one there, uh, Night Ranger, that purple one with gold that had the purple look like a big uh, Crown Royal bag, um, what, the, what was the name of that one? Oh, uh, the Courier Royale, or Royal, or whatever it was. Yeah, Royale, yeah, okay. Yeah, gold and purple and all that, yep. That was a 23 channel double sideband, I think, uh, radio. <laughs> crown Royal. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It does. It got that, yeah, it's got that Crown Royal looking bag. Yeah, 21 knows about it. He used to be dipping it at a whole lot. Yeah. I see the way it is with them fellas there. They like to say what I did, but then half the time, you know, they fall on the floor with the microphone, you know, being over there drinking. But... All it had to do was drink one beer. Oh, that's that 21 over there. He's drinking beer again. Yep, he used to do it on the island. He used to be all tore up. Ah. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, really. Okay. They don't talk about the South, they ashamed of it. Yep. 20, uh, 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 crazy. You're in no 21 back in the day. I can only remember, I can only remember, maybe I should say, I 
can only remember that one time I really got on the radio slosh and I wasn't even old enough to be drinking. <laughs> I was 15 or 16 years old. And I got on there, I got into my dad's ancient age, uh, was that bourbon, while they were asleep. <laughs> and I was like 15 years old. And I was the first time I'd ever had liquor. And I wanted to try it. So they'd gone to bed and I'd been watching Johnny Carson. And they had those Coke classes. Coke glasses, the ones that are kind of they're wide at the top and, and skinny at the bottom. And so I went and got some, I didn't know what else to do with it. I got bourbon tasted and hated the way it tasted. So all we had was sweet tea. So I mixed it with some sweet tea. And I probably put about a third of that glass full of bourbon, not knowing how much I was supposed to take, drink it, you know, and drink it. And the top thought it tasted awful and sat down and I thought, well, that didn't do anything. So I put like another third of glass in there, mixed tea in and then drink it. And then what they're waiting, no, they didn't do anything. So I went back and started watching TV and was going to forget about it. And then after a little bit, I noticed that John Lee Carson was like swaying back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I stood up and I fell down. Yeah, John Lee Carson was just swaying back and forth. It was you. Yeah, that's right. So I went back and got on the TV and blasted out of my mind, <laughs> drunk at age 15. <laughs> and then finally the next day I didn't feel too well. I was like hanging over the toilet. <laughs> well, that, yeah. That sweet, that sweet drink, God. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was my first introduction. That was my first time getting drunk. And I, I don't remember any other times I got completely drunk on the ZB. Yeah, there are. I've forgotten about it, but I don't remember that one. How about, uh, let's see, let's see, what happened to that other guy there? How about that, um, wizard? You out there, wizard? Maybe that 5 double O he out there? Hey, one six five. Making a good trip up here, about what, uh, 30 something miles away? Yeah, yeah, probably so. 10-4, you got a copy on him there, Night Ranger? Not on this Robin, I don't. But like I said, there's C's down on this thing. 410, how about you there, uh, 755 and Star Patrol and Crazy Man? Yeah, I got him. I got him. Everybody's got you. Get that uh, Delta tune on the front of that radio and kick it over to one side or other there, Star Patrol. <laughs> you know, Delta tune, this is a classifier, a classifier but uh, I, I can, but I can't pull him out what he's saying. I'm going to go to the 139 and see if that'll hear him. I'm going to the radio. Yeah, I'm going to the 139. Crazy man, I'll be back.
down the street from me. Yeah, they were she the last <laughs> Yeah. I heard a big shotgun blast earlier today, but that was about it. Around here. Probably one of them deers on that shooting gun. When did the deer season end anyway?
Good. Yeah, he got a watch Star Patrol. He keyed on his own self one time years ago. What's up, Roadrunner? Well, I got you on the video gate there. Night Rangers got you. I don't know if they can hear you, but uh, good to hear you. I want to tell you Merry Christmas before you get out of there. Yeah, ICOM 706, okay. Alright, ten four. Well, it's clear sounding. What I can, you know, I, I'm on this old radio here, this old Johnson 250 there, so I don't know. Yeah, ten four. Yeah, it, uh, there's a lot you can do to this thing, but anyway, you know, it's just something to mess around with, and then I'll get, you know, another one like Star Patrol. You know, he got them all stacked up over there. <laughs> Me too. So what you on now, Star Patrol? Oh, okay, and you had to dial me in. Oh, oh, okay. I was me and him was the only one. That was the Delta again. Y'all was the only one. Y'all was on frequency when y'all was talking. Now y'all was on another channel. Wow. Better let them bud lights roll up, sir. Yeah, that thing was on. That's when I start turning that knob, and then y'all came out in there real quick. Maybe the knob wasn't in the right place, but I know it's my radio. Okay. All right, well, let me stand by there. Hey, good to hear you there, Roadrunner. Now, I never had a problem with you. Star Patrolers didn't know what knob to turn. The all knobs to the right there. Oh yeah. I have to do that. Bring it out and get the dust out of it. That damn old radio still works. I bought it in 1971. Somewhere along there. Yep, that's when all these radios were back in the day. This old 70-something radio right here. I got that other one that was 70-something old for it, don't you? I got about five or six of those old, old 1970s radios in a box. Kind of somewhere around here.
check me out. Just over there, not up here. Just up there, not not down, not over here. I didn't hear nothing. See, it's right over there by each other. They're crazy, man. Uh, hey, Star Patrol, call Crazy Man. See, call Crazy Man. Crazy Man, do you hear Star Patrol? No, it's okay. As long as you talking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, see, they right over there next to each other. They over there holding hands over there, right? Yeah, 14, you said they had to check the crew over there. Uh-oh, let me get it out. Hey, hello. I got to be just right with this old radio here so it don't squeal. Hey, hello. Okay. Now, what are they uh, squealing for? That's what you want. Because you got the foot on uh, Star Patrol's neck, uh, you know, there. Yeah, they brought over there by each other, so, you know. Yeah, I know where they are. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> now they're getting keen on each other now. Oh no. They yeah, got you keen on Star Patrol now. Now you mean you can't hear that Star Patrol and he's right over there by you? Oh no, let me get out of here. Oh no. Oh no. see, let me try it again. There's now he done pumped it up now. He done pumped it up now. He done gone to the goodie store now. You see, I ain't got nothing over here to do nothing with. But anyway, I can hook something up, but that old radio night, I didn't know he was going to get out there and try it out there. All right, let me get out of here. All right, Star, quit doing that. Hey, quit making that 21 squeal right out there. Try to step. Yeah, I got to get that. Uh, I got to stay real close to this radio. I think it's that uh, connector on the back. Let me tighten that thing up. Ball bearings. I'm trying to see it doing it on the on the meter there. Hey, hello. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta stay real close to the radio. I see it trying to fluctuate there, but it's that every time I move that uh, mic around, I think it's that connector. Let me get in there and tighten it up.
did have to go back and look at the video gates. Oh yeah. Yeah, 10-4. 21, why don't you see about 1940 out there? Yeah, he's been in the hospital. 1940, you, I, I meant to call him. I forgot about that. He's supposed to have been home on Monday. Uh, but if he uh, if he was better, 1940, you out there? What he had going on with him? He had a heart palpitation or whatever. His heart was skipping beats and stuff like that. and. Uh, he went in there for some type of uh, bronchial infection or something and then they was doing a, a test on him and all of a sudden his heart started jumping around a little bit and he said he'd been doing that and it wasn't no big deal but the nurse called it so then he sent a cardiologist in there and uh, then they were trying a couple of different medications on him and they, they got it uh, supposedly all straightened out. Now I talked to him, and see it was on a Saturday um, and he's supposed to go home that Monday. That was this last Monday, and I, I should have called. I forgot all about it. Yeah, 10 -4. Yeah, he just got his beams put up and uh, <clears throat> got other stuff fixed up over there. And uh, matter of fact, Mouth of the South was going to go over there that weekend and uh, put some more guy wires on his uh, ground plane that he got up there that the hurricane kind of bent. Well, it didn't really bend anything much, but he wanted to reinforce it some. And uh, then I then he found out about that. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try to give him a. Uh, I uh, text there tomorrow about probably 11 o'clock, something like that, and I'll let y'all know. Yeah, Telfo, Telfo. All right, Steve, I was standing by. Yeah, Telfo, Telfo, Telfo. Where's he at? He's gone. 399? Yes, sir. Ain't nobody else in the to get him out of the U.N. Where's 399? I mean, he's on a base station? I don't know. They got a base station over there, buddy. Oh, I don't know. Who is it there, uh, Star Patrol 399? Like I, oh yeah, I know that one I went over there and met that day. Yeah. Oh okay, I, I yeah I forgot about him. Yeah. Now he's pretty good. He's got a pretty strong station. He'll get out there on 11 and shoot skip every once in a while and holler at us. No, he's got a base. Yeah, in that area.
raunchy turkey doing that. like uh, Flower Town Mechanic and Handy Andy. Oh, Handy Andy. Okay, okay, and all that mess.
See you later, Sim Five Five. Eliminator, are you still hanging in there? Yes, sir, I'm back here. There's so much stuff going on there, I just, I, 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 I just sat here listening to the show. <laughs> yeah. so much and that's it. I had nothing on James Island man. I had him trying to lock me up and had the judge on me and uh, people running around the neighborhood taking out petitions against me and everything else. I don't need that up here. Nah, nah I've been doing it for a while. I, I'm way out here so they you know <clears throat> I don't, you know, so far I hadn't bothered anybody. Maybe I am. They don't know it. That's when they get out there, they get lost that stuff because they wouldn't have a bad fun. They take the wrong road, they'd be in trouble. Yeah, I, I, I might be his neighbor. I might be 21 neighbor. That'd be okay. That's how they keep the bogus and work on it. Well, we just split it up, you know, you you know, we just pull shifts and we'll draw, you know, like uh, papers out of the hat with the numbers and what time. Uh, no, I can't do that like that. <laughs> well, you talking, I'm talking, and uh, it's all going to work for both of us, right? Or ten. Yeah. I finally hooked up that little uh, LED light thing that I was asking you about. You know, it's got four wires coming out of it. Thing wasn't but like a dollar and a half shipped from China. And, you know, it's got little uh, diode lights there, little LEDs. And it's yellow all the way, you know, on the line, and then the red one on the very end. And you got two wires that are uh, 12 volts, and then you got <coughs> two wires that for you hook onto like a, you know, speaker connection. But what I did, I put it in line with the speaker. I didn't just let it run right into it, and it it works. I saw one of those things, uh, kind of like what you got on, on your video gates. I was in uh, Coles, I think it was, the other day. And they had the, the fan, the LED fans, where I guess where the, uh, the fan spins, you can have it print out, you know, words and stuff, kind of like what you got sitting on top of your radio. Yeah, 10-4. Yeah, you have to program it on the computer. But they had those, I think it was 
Yeah, ten four. Yeah, I ordered mine uh, off the some guy had them. He was putting them on top of amplifiers, and as he was putting his name in there, I said, "Damn, that's cool," you know. And uh, you know, you have to put it on the computer, and it's got to upload the uh, cable, and you got a disc you got to put in there, and and all. You know, it, I had to get my daughter to kind of help me with it because I didn't, you know, didn't really know what was going on. A couple of things there, and she was able to help me get it going and. <clears throat> That's what I did there. I was thinking about getting another one, but um, I had to go to Coles and look because no one had them back then. They just that guy had them on a, on the top of his amplifier. I forgot who he was now. Yeah, well, when I was out Christmas shopping the other night, I went and they had you know a bunch of electronics crimped together, and I saw them back there. Yeah, ten four. Well, this thing I'm talking about is just like a little. LED strip there with a little circuit board. It's already pre-assembled and everything. I said, shoot, I'll try it out, you know, and and uh, the, the louder you talk, the more the green lights hook up, you know, light up till they're all in the line, you know, and uh, I was trying to figure out how to, I was going to hook that to the speaker on the radio so when y'all would talk there, it would uh, kind of show you your level of audio. Now with that VU meter, um, well you have to have, uh, you couldn't just hook the meter to the speaker, you'd have to have some type of a driver for it, wouldn't you? Probably could go off the speaker, you might have to, pa you'd probably have to pat it down with a resistor a good bit to keep it maybe from burning the meter up. Um, but you probably could, or you could just sample it further back in the chain if you wanted to. Yeah, 10 -fold. It'd just be like a stereo receiver, you know, with a VU meter, but it'd be on the CV there. Yeah, that uh, Sony Superscope had something like that too, I think. That's a weird looking radio. They got, every once in a while, I'll see that one come up on sale on eBay. It's like $500, you know. I like the meter on it. It's, it reminds me of that new Cobra 29 uh, with that. Um, you know, fancy digital looking meter thing. It looks something like that, but still analog. But it, it reminds me of that. The LXE Cover 29, something like that, LXE? Yeah, yeah, that Sony Superscope base has something like that. As a guy was doing a video gates with one of them on there, and I thought, man, look at that. Because it was nice and blue, and, and you know, you could see everything. That thing it went like about 80, 80 dB, and it was pretty neat. So I said, what the heck kind of radio is that? So then I saw one on eBay one time. I said, oh, okay, that's what it is. But ain't no way I'm paying no $500 for no radio like that. I've never heard of it, but now that you mention it, I have to look it up. Ten four. I never saw one or even heard one that I know of anybody had, you know. And uh, so I, I don't know where they sold them at, but they, they made them. Yeah, and a Craig. I, I did hear some Craig, uh, but I don't remember ever hearing a Motorola MoCat back in the 70s or 80s. I don't remember those. But, uh, and I, I don't know if I ever heard any sonars back then. I don't think I heard any sonars until I started watching eBay. All right. I did one of the guys locally about 10 years ago had one, though, and it sounded pretty good. That was a good sound over here. What's that? Oh yeah, that FS23 is supposed to be pretty good. It's got like two 6BQ6s in there, push, pull, whatever, and you take and you bypass some kind of circuit in there. One, I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, and then you put a Demco modulator on it. But uh, I mean, you can only get so much modulation anyway. Well, this was this sounded good. It was good time. It was good time to radio. They got them on eBay. All there's one of them on there right now, like for forty. Forty-nine dollars, but they went. It won't stay that long there. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people. Uh, down those radios, but 
There's Skip Land coming in. Yeah, I couldn't make it out. I got a bad tube or something going out. As you're seeing, this thing's getting weaker and weaker. I'll have to, instead of putting it back in the box, I'll have to put it on the bench and work on it when I when I get to it after Christmas. Thank you, Matt 21. This, this receiver's not getting it. Hello there, Red. I hear you out there too, Red, on 21 waving. Yeah, 13, I got you. Where are you located there? Come on. Northwest corner in Indiana. I hear you, man. Well, we got old radio night down here in South Carolina around Charleston in the area in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Good to hear you out there. Before I lose you, Merry Christmas to you there, Roger. All right, man, it unfaded out there. That's why I wanted to get that in there real quick. All right, have a good one on 21 Dirty Diaper. We go. Thirteen, Indiana. I'm gone. Get back up on the radio, twenty-one. Yeah, I gotta get closer. I don't. I, I'm not used to having to watch this thing like a hawk, you know. All right, I'm standing by. Hello, Boney. Uh, yeah, that uh, slave driver told me he said hello to you. Boney, I'm going to wave at you, man. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Now, come on. Yeah, 10 4. I sure appreciate it, man. I'm glad uh, you took the time to get in there and say hello to me there, Boney, and wish me merry. It's, it's better have probably a uh, come in there caught him drinking that beer and not watching them grandkids good. Four ten. Getting kind of cool down there in down, downtown, isn't it? I hear you. Wow. Yeah, man. Uh, that thing is cool, man. You know, I think I'll that thing will fly too. And uh, yeah, well, one of them got towed off that kept coming back. So you know, one of them got towed away. <laughs> I hear you. Is it very articulated? Oh, I didn't know that. Is it rear wheel drive? And it's got two wheels on the front. Wow. Can you ride it on the back tire? I hear you. That looked like something there. Two wheels in the air and one on the ground, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's 
Yeah, I doubt they will though. You hear him, crazy man? Yeah, I got him. I can't make out what he's saying. I know he's saying that. Ken Roger, he said hello and goodbye there, Roger. Now, who is that? 165 on the top of the AA parking garage. Please turn that car around. You might be able to get back to me. 410. Yeah, I'm not going to Did you hear him there, uh, Lemonator or uh, uh, a Nut Ranger? Uh, Yeah, I was talking when you was talking. How about the Night Ranger? Did you hear him? About that Eliminator. I could hear him, kind of, but not that good. Roger. I guess Night Ranger's uploading his video now. Well, that skip come in and went right back out. Like it did today, to see them uh, two hours after that, poof, they go. Roadrunner, you still in there? I'm back. Okay, crazy man, Night Ranger's back. Let me check this in a second. Craco? Yeah, the crazy Craco with the super glued meter on it. Oh, okay. It sounds good. Yep, and the Turner Plus 3. Who's that? Go ahead. You hear him out there, uh, a Night Ranger? Yeah, I hear him. 410. That's red out there. started to talk you keyed up there uh, go ahead and try it again there red yeah 10 there crazy man you heard him okay he said he uh 
he wanted to see if you had a sloppy copy and all that, and uh, you and everything there, Roger. Yeah, I'm fine, Chief. I know you can hear me, though. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not trying to get that noise out of here. I ain't got a lot of mail on you, bro. I'm right ahead of my gun right now. I got 25, around 25. Yeah, Red, let me flip on this flat side and see if I can hear you. Yeah, Roger. Well, I went on the flat side there. Did that do any better there? Come on. Yeah, Roger. Well, I got to get this uh, where I can turn these beams around. It's just in case, you know, you happen to walk in front of it. There's the only thing I got right now. It's just up there. All right, dear Red, I'm going to put it on you later, and I'm going to get back on the side. Oh, 21, we go. Hey, what now? Yeah, I've got a, a one, you know, uh, the, the ground plane is on and then the beams is on another one there, but uh, the uh, rotor, uh, when it, that thing hit the ground, I think it knocked something loose in the rotor, but that's okay, i got another rotor. All right, dear Red, I'm going to shut up. I'm gone. That's weird, I could hear him better and he could hear me better on the flat side and he's in the mobile. I guess the ground wave took over, you know? Just going over there then and leave when you want to. Lemonade, appreciate you coming in there, man. I'm getting ready to shut this uh, video gate off there, too, but I'll be still be out here. They're good. And hope you have a Merry Christmas and tell that uh, hey, Spider-Man and uh, Free Fall at uh, 21 said hello and have uh, Santa Claus hey, come out there. Tell them if I was a little bit closer, I'd put a parking meter up on top of your house so I could make some money when Santa Claus came. Hey, it's 21. We're going. Thank you. 
And at the very end there, just wanted to uh, let uh, the fellas know there that they, uh, there's real people talking on CB radios and uh, so you have to make sure you read the disclaimer. <laughs>